I guess just as a bit of a background, and as if you're seeing the title of the stream, I don't really like survival games. I kind of fell off. I only played Minecraft when it was like new-ish in like 2010. Well, I guess it was pretty new back then. And, and even then I was kind of like, oh, okay, this is fine. And then I've tried many different games. I've tried like uh, Conan. I've tried uh, what other ones are there? Um, I don't know. I've tried a few of them. <laughs> I don't remember which ones, but I, I never seem to enjoy them. So after looking at this one and reading about it, it seemed interesting. It seemed to do things. It seemed to guide you a bit more. I'd say this has more similarity to Dark's. Really? How are you doing, Ark? <laughs> Good to see you. Interesting. Because yeah, it seems to have a story. And it seems to have a goal. The thing I don't like about a lot of survival games is that, is that it doesn't have a goal. You're kind of just going forever and just building your things and trying to survive. It's a survival game. But this gives you some goals, and I'm sure we're going to get to see what they are as we go here. Another interesting thing, and I'll bring the game up now, is the graphics, which I really enjoyed. <laughs> and it's it's very unique in its own way, because it's retro, but not. You can even see just by the, the shadows that the fire does. The, I love this because the textures are so low resolution, but they it's a stylistic choice. Even the characters are like low res textures on them. And even you could say a low low poly model. But it's kind of a very much like I, I don't and that's the thing. I don't know if the, this is like a, just an early release graphics or if this is an in intentional artistic choice. If it's an intentional artistic choice, I actually really like it. Because as someone who grew up in a time where graphics did look like this, it kind of takes me back a little bit. It makes me think of Metal Gear Solid 1 and stuff like that, so like that era of games. Um, and I, I kind of like that. Because it, it looks cool, even like the shading, how it changes in, more chunk in a chunkier way. I think that that's kind of cool. Uh, but here, let's, uh, let's, let's see what kind of, what kind of thing we can go for. Also, if you don't take at least two hours building your character, don't worry, we won't. <laughs> You're not doing it right. Ark says, it's kind of low poly, but it can be quite heavy due to massive procedural generation. That makes sense. Uh, I, I am curious to see how the world works, because again, from the little bit that I saw, a lot of the effects... Not the textures and stuff, but like the effects are very high quality. So right now I have it maxed out. <laughs> we'll see if that works. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to check something. Can you give the lady a beard? Okay, you can. <laughs> I, I know that a lot of games nowadays let you put a beard on any character, if it's a guy or a girl. And I was hoping... Yes, he has a ponytail beard or a braid beard. Ooh, ooh, look at those beard physics. <laughs> Not very good. It's just the little tip goes. <laughs> oh! That one's pretty cool. Long one. Uh, I don't like this one. It looks like these are legs. These are chicken legs. And then you tie the chicken feet together. Chicken beard. <laughs> and then an egg just pops out of the middle. I don't know. What are you guys feeling? Chicken beard? I really like this one, but it doesn't fit his face quite right. Are you seeing that? It's a little bit too low. It's a little bit too, it's like it's in his mouth. It's like he, it's like someone pulled down the Santa's beard. So it looks kind of weird. If they had placed it a little bit better, I think I might enjoy it better. What should we name him? We'll call him... Ganondorf. <laughs> Um, this is the one thing I am, I, I just admit it, I am horrendous at. It's giving names to anything. Anything. Whenever I'm, I was writing a script or doing anything, I couldn't name it anything. I was terrible, so 
Any name suggestions are welcome. Otherwise, I might end up calling it Joe. <laughs> you might just become a Joe. And we don't want that. Joe Smith's son. There we go. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Joe kind of strikes that, that perfect Joe Smith's son. I think with two S's. Okay, back. Can I? Bye, Joe. We gotta rebuild him. Okay. Joe Smith son. Quick question, do they read or should I read? Do they read, should I read? Long ago, the All-Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the 10th world. Then split the boughs that held the, their prison to the world tree and left it to the drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but did not die. A glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgar and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefield's greatest war dead to the world born of Gimbalheim. <laughs> A little bit. This is an early access game. Slow it down. You know what? Just in general, with scrolling text in anything, it, well, in any game, they should have like if you press up arrow or down arrow, it speeds it up or slows it down. That should just be a thing. Also, this is pretty cool. Oh, look at the wetness of the burn. <laughs> That's nice wetness that this game has. Also, <laughs> I like my guy. He's <gasps> <laughs> just like. <gasps> <laughs> I got, we're gonna hit the street. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> it's going really wrong. <laughs> you are wet. No joke. I, it, it said, I bring tidings. I read, I bring titties, and I was like, this, this might not be stream appropriate anymore. You are moist. Welcome to the 10th world, warrior. I am Huggin Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are sacrificial stones. They represent the forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay. Sacrificial stone, read. Well met! First of the forest, king in the wood, a lord over those who dwell at his feet. His roots will grow where cities once stood, their blood his wine, their flesh his meat. Oh, this is like a tree giant. Tree giant. How about this dude? Wanderer, look to your feet. That tread upon our tomb. One thousand bones without their meat will drag you to your doom. Okay, wait. Wanderer, look to your feet. Tread upon our tomb. One thousand bones without their meat will drag you to... So I guess where I see a lot of bones there, we might see like a big round giant of some sort. Oh. Black wings across the moon and sun. Down from the mountain... Our mother comes. Her, her weeping tears will fall like rain. Her voice will call us home again. I try to make it rhyme a little bit better. His antlers are branches of iron. They crack. How do they know what iron is? Do they have I guess the... Okay, never mind. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. His hooves are set are the sound of thunder, his voice a howling gale. Okay, interesting. So I'm guessing these are the bosses. This also almost gives me like Shadow the Colossus vibes. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Long ages past, he wore a crown beneath a bloody red sky. Now naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. I bring tidings. Who keeps saying that? Is that the bird? Okay. 
Hello. This stone is a vag vizier. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If in inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ichthyr, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourselves before even attempting to defeat him. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Um... That's kind of close. I don't know if I like that. Bird, I don't understand you. Why do you... Whoa. Is that Yggdrasil or whatever? Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty. This is a pretty game. I need to fight the beast, but I need to arm myself. Okay. I see I have a food meter. And I have a life meter. Oh, I actually really like the, the grass. Again, these are low poly textures, but they look so good. Can I pick this branch? Oh, okay. okay. Stone axe. That's useful. Can I cut down trees if I... How do, how do I menu? I for inventory. Tab. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh! Hey, little warrior! Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgar, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and you will it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Why do the birds sometimes fly away and then sometimes he poofs away? It's inconsistent. Okay, stone axe, I need five wood and four stone. Club, I need six wood. Hammer, I need three wood and two stone. Okay, so I need to find stone. Or can I start punching a tree? Ooh. Okay, I think I'm doing zero damage to this tree. How about you? So, do I just get branches. I'm not thinking of attacking them just yet. I kind of want to get my tools. I'm not finding any rocks. This is problematic. <laughs> I need rocks. I need stones. And I do not has. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, got a nice little raspberry. Oh, hello. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will go hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Thank you. Okay. Um, how do I do this? Oh, okay, right click. Let's see. I can do an axe now. There we go. So I have an axe, and that, that's my number two. Oh, ooh, double tree. So, Ark, since you were mentioning that this, this is more of a... Like... Dark Souls-like... Should I be... Oh, Birch is too hard. Oh, oh, timber. Oh, whoa. <laughs> and where am I in the map? So I'm going inland. 
probably don't want to go north. Do I have a... What in the world? What's that? Hello? Oh, oh! Hello? Okay. Got me res- Is there any advantage? Because, like, this seems like a good place for me to put down a base or something. Uh, is there any advantage to being close to water? Is there... Uh, should I try to put it close to water, or is this good? Like, I'm gonna be okay if I build a base here. Uh, closer to water has some advantages to boats. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not really, unless it's, like, super bothersome to you guys, it's okay to me right now. I'm not doing anything crazy. Or, like, oh, pigs. Pigs? <gasps> Wet pigs! Wet pig- Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> It's an angry pig. It's a boar. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's a lot of blood. I just wanted to get near this rock. Runestone. This land is hard and wild, but we who have who are brought here are harder still. Ah, ah, get away. Okay. Um, the land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you. The good wood and stone, the fruits and the flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the grounds are their pleasure. Oh, so I shouldn't be killing the boar. <laughs> I should be taming them. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go around because I don't wanna I don't wanna aggravate them anymore. It looks like it's running fine on stream. Okay. I did kill some boars. I killed some boars. Um, I have some meat. So, what what else can I make? I can make a club for attacking. Uh, it seems to be fine. I make a hammer. With this to your hand, you can raise high halls and... Okay, so this is the build building thing. Okay. I can... Okay. I bring tidings! You have crafted a hammer! With this tool, you will raise mighty halls into- okay. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct- okay, I'm gonna go to the- I'm gonna go to the- um, to the water first. Let me go to the water. I'm gonna run as much as I can, because I saw that running actually gives me abilities. Why the screen shake? This is very soothing. I really like this. <laughs> this is incredibly soothing. It's very chill. Wait, wait a minute. Why to make a club do I need six pieces of wood if a club is just so big? Can I just use a... Oh, I see the eyes over there. Hello. Ooh. Okay. So it seems like they give resin. And it seems like I'm getting to it. Is there something following me? Okay. Yeah. And it, it's really the music, too. It kind of feels like running around in a forest. Yeah, and the the quality of the effects just... As I, I thought, they were like, they're really good. And so it makes it feel realistic, even though, like, the low poly doesn't ruin it at all. I really like it. And... I mean, the low, the low res and a little bit of the low poly, like, it, it's fine. And I actually really like that. It works well. So, once, once I find a good place for me to put down a base, 
I'm gonna analyze a little bit more of like how this progression is working, how I'm just I just kinda wanna get to a place right now. Ooh. I feel cold. I feel wet. When temperature drops at night, or... Are you a skelly? Wait, bird. Bird, you were gonna tell me something about being cold. Uh-oh. I really like the fact I like the eyes and your eyes don't glow like that it makes it very apparent that to me is that's good okay this seems like a good little area nice little opening right here close to the all right so I need to build a fire of some sort so oh oh okay so okay so I have a hammer left shift toggle okay Mouse to building menu. Oh. Hey. There we go. I'm not cold anymore. Uh, all right. What else can I build? Crafting workbench. Can I spin it? How do I, how do I spin it? Oh, there we go. All right. How do I stop this? How do I stop this? Um... Hello, bird! Oh no, oh no! Craft complex- workbench allows you to craft complex items, access lots of more buildings. Oh no, I'm on fire! He had a star by his name. That means he's really hard. No need to be overly concerned about the. Okay. Oh, so I respawn at the thing. Stupid deer. <laughs> I will pop up a few meters away. You suffered a mortal blow. Each time you're struck down, you will forget a small part of your ability and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. If you wish. If you are home by now, I'd recommend building a bed. Wherever home may be. Okay. Ooh. 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 That's cool. This is pretty. Aw, oh, there's, there's still dude there. That's not good. Will he leave? How do I get it? How do I get it? Get away! No, <laughs> I have stuff following me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the fire. Use the fire. Okay. Oh, they run away from the fire. Do they? Okay, they run away from the fire. It seems. No stars. They're just fine. One star is they're angry. Two stars they're extra angry. Okay, but it doesn't seem like he'll get close to me because I'm near the fire. Okay. Crafting station needs a roof? What does that mean? Okay, maybe I can get like some some swings at him. While he's kinda of running away. Uh oh, uh oh. I need food. Oh. So I guess it operates maybe if you built a hut when you die, like yeah. Or a bed, like they said bed would be the so, but that's the thing. I was looking at the menu. I, don't, I couldn't really figure out how to build stuff. I mean, oh, you know what? I was looking at the inventory. I need to look at the hammer. That's what I need to look at. Look at the hammer, not the inventory. I like that it's persistent, though. That's one thing, like, people, creatures don't just disappear and stuff like that. Okay, he's gone. Okay. Um, so, I need to open my... There we go. Um... Oh, there we go. 
creature. It's a chest. Okay, that's good. Repair. Wood stack. Raft. I can start building a little shack. Furniture. Bed? Okay, so maybe I can just put a bed. Does it need to be in a house? Okay. Oh, do I not have eight wood? No, I do. Is there... Okay, here's a question. Oh, oh. Is this the limit of where I can build? Maybe I should get a little bit close to water. Can I move this? Oh, that kind of destroyed it. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Um, unless the destruction is one to one, so like it, it doesn't really matter. You can remove and get full re full refund. Okay, that's good. All right. So now what I'm trying to is there a way to can you terraform at all in this game? Can I dig? Can I do anything in that regard? Or no, like, nothing like that. Usually build floor with workbench, remove workbench, and build on on floor. Okay. Okay. You can, you just need to build a hoe. Alright, how do I build a hoe? Are you a hoe? Nope, that's a cooking station. How does one build a hoe? I guess I just didn't learn it yet. Okay, I'm gonna build a floor. <laughs> I'm gonna build a floor. And why do I keep pressing that? Wood floor, two by two. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna make a nice beach front view. Boom. Boom. Going into the ground, that's great. That's great. Wait, so you can terraform in this? That actually would make it very different from... From a lot of survival games, right? You don't usually terraform in... Like... Obviously you terraform in Minecraft. But... The more detailed ones you don't usually, right? You can, like, even... The ground, raise it, or dig. Interesting! Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Oh no, he's back! Get out of here! No, 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 log! Why are you doing this? Please, please. Okay, he's terrible aim. Yeah, I just need this wood. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> oh, you don't have a star by your name. <laughs> Die, potato. Yes. Okay. Uh, when I get better at wood cutting, does it mean... I get more wood from it? Does it mean I cut it faster? That's what I'm guessing it means. It means I cut it faster. And what are these? Valheim Compendium. Oh, okay. These are all the messages. Okay. Okay. What's this? These are my skills. So I'm almost up to the, my next level. Okay, cool. Interesting. And it only seems to show the abilities I already kind of achieved. It doesn't, it doesn't show anything else, it's, it might be a growing list. That's actually very interesting. Trophies, no trophies. PvP damage, okay. No PvP. It means Axe does more damage to wood, which eventually means you cut faster. Good to know, good to know. All right. Um, there we go, boom, this is my house. And it needs a roof, right? It said it needed a roof. So I'm gonna make a wall. Building it right into the ground. We'll make a little, little hobbit hole. Uh, so for everything, if you destroy it, no, 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 no. Do I remove something? Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna need a lot of wood. I'm gonna have to farm some wood. Oh, good, there's a lot of stones here. I'm gonna need to be able to learn how to pick up not just stone stones, but like break rocks. Because that's gonna become a problem <laughs> soon. Timber! Oh! It, ah! it cuts? It, that's cool, that's cool. That they interact with each other. That's something I didn't like in Minecraft. Obviously, like, it's all part of Minecraft or whatever. And Minecraft is the only survival connection I have. Uh, but I like that it hits other trees and it, it, can, it can take them down. That's really cool. Do, do all... Uh, do all... Is this a normal thing to happen in a lot of these games? Or... Is that what you're saying? Like, it's the physics, how they, they use the physicality of the world and stuff like that into and kind of make that a part of it, a part of the what you learn and what you do and what you use. That's really cool. I, I really like that it it actually, you know, hit the other tree and now it's... I love when games do that, when they actually use logic... More naked than I remember. Yes, I am. How do I? How do I clothe myself? Oh, there we go. This would happen in real life. People don't just cut a tree and just oh, and then they just you know fade through the tree and it's like I'm fine. There's no fading in real world. Gra <laughs> Gradients are a lie. Everything is a solid color. My little hut. My little hut looks nice. I should move my bench. Um, remove. I need to change that to mouse three. Deconstruct to it. The. Uh, it's weird that they call it mouse three and mouse dash three. <laughs> They're the two different. Okay. I'm gonna. So I was playing- oh, that's another survival game I played and didn't really like. Uh... Rust. And one thing I hated was when ground popped up around... Inside my- my stuff. I'm like, ground, what are you doing? Don't pop up around my stuff. Doesn't make sense. Hello? You have crafted a hole. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear ground and manipulate terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground. You said it, bird. All right. So I'm going to pick the perfect position. Oh, no. I think this little alcove right here. Like if we just level this out. This can be very nice. I like it. This would be the perfect height. It's not too close to the water, but it's pretty close to the water, so it kind of works. So, I keep wanting to, sc wanting to scroll. Okay. Floating fire. Floating fire. So, do I have to click multiple times to level it out? Yeah, it seems like it. It doesn't seem like it levels at all at once. So, I'm gonna try making a sky house. I'm gonna make it so my house floats. That is my goal. Looking good, looking snazzy. Did I just spend the whole day hoeing around? I did, but now it's looking good. The land looks flat. <gasps> my hoe broke. That's my problem. 
Probably hammer symbol on the workbench. Hammer symbol on the workbench? Oh. Repaired hammer? Oh! Oh! Can you pick, though, what you're repairing? Because I... I kind of... Am I naked again? No. I want to equip it. Can you farm? If I tomato a bed. What? Tomato? Bed? Okay, I'm actually... I think I'm going to destroy all of this. Because now I want to rebuild it. Okay, okay. Okay. I have this. No. No. And I have this. Don't you dare. He's not afraid of fire. This is a problem. Um... Oh boy. Um yeah, that's a bit of a problem. my stuff? That guy's rude. I don't like him. None of the other guys destroyed stuff. Is it the farther I go from the bent, the, the beginning of the game, the higher level enemies I would I'll encounter? Is that kind of the, the the rule, the rule of thumb? Oh, so sneaking uses my stamina? That's new. Yeah, screw that guy. I'll let him leave since he destroyed everything. I'm just gonna let him leave. No, no. Screw you, guy. I'm, am I making a trap for myself? Screw you, guy. There's another guy! What's this? A convention of dudes? I'm just looking at my flat land and leaving. They all want my flat land. Go make your own flat land. I made this with the sweat of my own brow. I just want to level ground. Are you kidding? I think what's the big reason they spawn is north of this spot. Can you stop them from spawning? Is that like a thing? Can you like do stuff like that in this game? So like you find their hovel and then you can stop them from spawning? Because that would be cool. But maybe what I should do is move my My land isn't flat! <laughs> oh. What a disappointment. I'll build this way, because this way it seems to be a little bit better. I'm gonna add just one more row, and that'll be my butt. Ah. 
Ah. Aha. Oh. Do I have to jump up that? Nah. I don't like it. I have to jump it up. Uh. Haha. Yes. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do... There we go. Now... Do this. Boom. Oh, oh. Boom. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> we did it. Oh, I need stone to do that. Alright. Wall. Okay. Oh, it's right in the middle. Can I do anything about that? I could eat another bite. Yeah, roll the other way. Okay. Ah, ah, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Screw you. Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I need to build a bed. <laughs> Why did I pick such a hard place to build? I could have just built in the meadows, you know? It has been a nice place. But no. We have to build in the... Like, I could have built here. This could have been nice. Pretty close, pretty quick walk to the... to the shore. No, said Rods. I'm gonna build by the water. Now what's happening? I'm just dying. Ooh. Berries. Give me berries. If you zoom in on the map, you can kind of get a hint of how long the travels can go. Or zoom out, I mean. Is this a flat plane? Are we on- Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Screw you guys. I'm in my house! You're in my house! <laughs> get away! <laughs> Leave my house! Breaking my house! Oh! <laughs> and... Done. Screw you. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna build a second floor. Um, keep forgetting the controls. Hey, there we go. Is it easier to build it from the side? Yeah, it might be easier to build it from the side. I'm gonna make a fortress. He's never gonna get in. Screw that dude. Okay. And I'm gonna make a bed up here. That's gonna be my thing. I'm gonna 
protect myself. And I'm gonna put down a bed. That will be my thing. Yeah, especially because up here it's warmer. Oh, 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 no. Actually, yeah. Okay, okay. Putting down a bed. So that, that won't happen anymore. I think the one height rooms can really limit your vision. Should we do two height? I'll just do the bottom one as one height. I'll make the rest two height. Just like this front area, just this is gonna be one height. I can have like storage down there. Eh, eh. Maybe I'll make it. I'll make it. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey, warrior, why are you doing it in my bed? <laughs> Get out of my bed, bird. Hello. A, he a headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Not an improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. Good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen while you're exploring. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, I guess he couldn't really do much from there. All right. Um, he needs an actual roof. Yeah, this this is this kind of sucks. <laughs> Cars don't always count as roofs in this. Okay. Some building a hammer. Okay, okay. So, single things out. The no cool thing to do is have a double sized floor. So you're out. It's gonna have to become a longhouse. <gasps> Longhouses are actual things. Okay. Yeah, they, this is one thing. Yeah, they're early access, whatever. This they can improve. So that, like, when you're tr clearly trying to get it closer to the edge, they, they stick a little bit better. They don't have to... Yeah, no, they, if anything, some people might not like heavier snapping because they want high precision and want to place things specifically. Um, make it a toggle. I'd say make it a toggle. Uh, but otherwise, oh yeah, for, I should do this while it's still day. Get some, screw you, why are you still here? <laughs> Get away from me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh boy. Screw you guys. Leave. Ow. Oh. So, am I even doing this the right way? Yeah. Can I please hammer and... Why can't I hammer <laughs> and have a torch? Um, 45 degrees, 26 degrees. Um, oh, oh, I think the bed is covered.
Oh, that is a pickle. Uh, oh, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. You're totally right. You're totally right. I can just remove the tile of the floor. Bam. And fire. Hey. That's the whole point. <laughs> as long as the house doesn't catch fire, I'm okay. Oh. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a disaster. Well, my my wait, my spawn point is set. I'm good. I'm good. Para bam bam para bam bam para bam bam para bam para bam para bam bam para bam bam para bam Para bam bam para bam bam para bam bam para bam para bam bam para bam para bam 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 bam. What what what? Uh oh, I'm gonna die. I think I'm poisoned. So they have poison spitting ones. Yes. Let me sleep. Yes! <laughs> you stand at the prow of a leaping ship, the salt spray before you, and the joyful shriek. Oh. The text is too fast. Uh oh. <laughs> Seems like another pickle. Now I'm ready to attack. Ready to fight. Yeah? Get over here. No one can beat me now. Okay, okay. This house is looking pretty cool. Kind of a, an interesting look. I might even do like a slant like that. That could be cool. Have a cool slant. Could be a, a new style. Modern Viking style. Maybe I'll be a, a homeowner. That's one thing. That is one thing I wish you could do in these games. Is not only. And I, I know that you can go into servers and stuff like that. But. Uh, yeah, I do need a little bit of support so that it, it feels more realistic because I think it'll stand right it, it doesn't adhere to physics in that way um, but I Wish there was a way my dream game Would be what I wanted I when I played Red Dead 2 I Fell in love with it and I would love a survival game where I can be a cowboy. So, if there was one that starts with you like going west, and it's just this, just lands like this. There is stru structural integrity stuff? Okay, interesting. Light shaft! Light shaft! Uh, uh oh, uh oh. It's another red guy. Are you. Let's see, has blue eyes. Yeah. Who are you, man? I'm out. <gasps> and I'm naked! Thank <laughs> you. 
could drop this in. Okay. Yeah, no, the torch is the real MVP of that fight. <laughs> Otherwise... I would have been a goner. Is that a boar? Or... Okay. Not gonna mess with that yet. Ooh, two for one. Two for one. Anyway, to what I was saying before, I would love a Western-style survival game, but that doesn't just stop at you, you know, building your little hut in the middle of nowhere. It would have to be kind of like a, uh, an MMO of sorts, but not like MMO as in genre, but just like massive online multiplayer. And I know you can do like servers with a lot of survival games, but it's still limited to a lot of like, you know, how much can your computer take and stuff like that. It would have to be a more robust solution, but I would want it. So essentially where I would want it to get to would be, um, I would want it to get to the point where you're building your own towns. And like people are actually living in those towns, like real people. And uh, you know, it, you still build your own home and stuff. And how I was just thinking, like how it would end up being, is just oh, we're out of both axes. Okay. It's just you have your own lot, and you can't really build outside of that lot. But you can do within that lot. You do whatever you want. That's just for towns. If you're outside of towns, then you you know you do whatever. Um, but, I don't know. That's kind of the idea I had for something like that. Because I, I think I would, I would really enjoy... Uh, we have... No. I would really enjoy something where you can do, like... Building and... And then building a community and stuff like that. I think that that would be really cool. It's just, I understand the difficulty and infeasibility of something like that is, you know, not the most feasible thing. <laughs> but I think that that would be, and that's why I was so sad that they completely messed up Red Dead Online. I thought Red, o Red Dead Online could have been such a cool idea, but it really wasn't. <laughs> It really sucked how they implemented it. I think a big problem with multiplayer is how players play it and what they want. Yeah, that's why I think it could be a good idea to have some sort of like... Um, it would be a good idea to have like own servers, private servers and stuff like that. Because in communities, like in smaller communities, you can do that. Right? If you have, like, say, we had a, a Nikki community, a Rods community, whatever, you can totally do that and it works. Uh, but I, I'd want it to be, like, I guess it's more, more of a... a f like, building, I guess, of a larger community that is willing to respect those rules. Because, yeah, you can't enforce it. I think a good example of someone trying to enforce something like that and it not working was Bethesda with 76, where you couldn't play P like PvP, but you couldn't play PvE properly either. So it was like a mix of things other than the bunch of other problems that game had. Uh, you know, as someone who actually put quite a few hours into that game, it didn't have anything for anyone. <laughs> and that was the problem with that game. So, that's, that's what I think could be a huge improvement, or like, that could be the idea, it's just, it would still have to be something server-based, where you have your own servers and, you know, private servers and stuff, but that's a lot, and also, as a, as a side note, that's where I think, that's one of the biggest things they messed up with that game, is that there aren't any private ca are doors just short? <laughs> are, are doors just short? Is that a... Uh... Can I do a half wall?
Because I feel like I'm going to need a half wall here. <laughs> Gates are like high doors. Wood gate. Okay. Alright. Oh, there we go. I guess it does mess up the, the building a little bit. How do I close this gap? <laughs> this is a problem. I got a barn house. Am I out of wood? I'm out of wood. I should. Oh. Okay. I gotta do this quickly. This is another little detail that I would like to see them improve. If you point up, I would like him to swing higher up. Point down, swing high, uh, lower. I think that's a small change that could make a huge difference. Because right now I'm pointing, but he, he's still going at it the same place. And I think that that could be a simple thing that could be a huge improvement. Huge improvement. And I know that there's a little feedback button, so I could totally say that. But I'm sure so many people have said that already. Because I think it's a no-brainer. I wish there was like a clock or something so I could know the time. <laughs> you know, a clock in Viking times. It's called looking at the sun. <laughs> but just so I could know, like, not an actual clock, but just so I could know how quickly night is approaching. Like, this feels like night is approaching <laughs> right now, so. Got this. Yeah, they're, they're running away. Get, get, get. get out of here. I like how they explode. That's also really nice. It's a nice little touch. Really like that. I kind of like the shape of this house. <laughs> uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, so... Two... I, I always open. Okay. And then here... I can have, on top of the, the door, I can have a half wall. But they should totally add half, like, half walls in the vertical sense, too. Because I think it would be cool to have just kind of a... Because I know they have these half walls. That's nice. Look at that. Looking like a proper building. All right, so now I'm actually gonna try doing the thing. Or should I make it? I might make it. I kind of like having this open space. Kind of like having a half, half open like this. Oh, is that a thing? Do I have to worry about? Oh. <laughs> oh, smoke physics. <laughs> That's interesting. That's very interesting. Huh. Alright. So, my idea here... ...was now I slant the roof. And I'm gonna make it a very aggressive slant. Bam! No. Bam, bam, and then here we have a, a corner roof. Or, or, we put the triangle, you know, the triangle. Yeah, and 
now we put the triangle on the next part. Yeah, this is a cool house. This ain't your baby house. This is a cool house. Do I die? Do I suffocate if I don't have a chimney? I mean, you know, I know realism and stuff like that, but... <laughs> Will I die? Hmm. How would this work? Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. Oh, you take damage. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. Yes? No. It makes sense sometimes. <laughs> um, I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, it's not gonna work for my things downstairs though. It's gonna say you don't have a roof. Um, you know what I could do, and this is a, you could say this is a very simple solution. You could say this is a very simple solution. I could do this. Why can't I open doors when I'm building? I go out here. I put the fire on the outside. Boom. It's still warm where I need it to be warm. And then I put my food stuff. Because I know I need to craft food. Boom, right there. Now I can cook item. That seems logical. I will say that seems logical. Boom. Oh, I can add a pot too. Oh, a chop. What's a chopping block for? Um. Yeah, so what I was gonna- th I was thinking was, like, kind of have a... Something like that, and then it kind of, like, stays like this. Kind of like one of those old factories. If that makes any sense. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, the sun is so beautiful. Oh, oh, <laughs> this guy is very pretty in this game. What I'm gonna do... Is there a flat roof? I feel like they should have a flat roof. What is this? They need a, and again, honestly, small nitpicks, uh, but they, they're they gonna need to add more options here for, for like roofs and stuff. Maybe later in the game, you get more, and I'm just like very, why am I walking? <laughs> it's really... Okay, he's back to normal. Um, okay. Okay. Um, All right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Ah, it's too dramatic, I think. Yes. Yes. 
There it is. There it is. We did it. We did it. Maybe I should have done it one earlier. I think it might... I might need to do it one earlier and make it double tall. Because otherwise, if this stays flat, if that stays flat right, right here, then it's gonna... How are we doing? Okay, yeah, so it is catching a little bit. But otherwise, good stuff. Good stuff. So we're gonna fix this. I wonder if I can sleep already. We're gonna fix that. There we go. You dream of a river running uphill. Green shoots turning downward into the earth. Is this like crazy Viking lore where it's like actual things? Like it's talking about a different day? I mean a different universe? Because I know they have like Midgar and Nilfgaard and blah blah where they're all like different universes that are parallel and stuff. So... And I think that's where I'm going to end tonight, is by finishing this. Finishing the house, and that's going to be it for me tonight. Um, okay, so now, now I understand what I need to do. It makes sense to me. Boom. There. Boom. There. Okay. So here we can have... Uh, this one, like this. That. And like that. And now, here, we start making it go up. I guess I should start adding supports to these. Risky. We got this, we got this. Um, boom. Boom. What in the world do we do with this? Uh, half wall, half wall. Half wall. 45 degree. MVP torch MVP torch I am nothing without this torch Literally I would be dead be mincemeat But yeah this game this game's pretty well made I enjoy it I enjoy it I'm having a good time I'm having a good time doing this We struggled We struggled in the beginning but we persevered we survived. We're survivors now. We have a little island. Oh. Hello. Why are you in a weird place? You need to lighten your load. 
If you carry too much luggage, you will become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Thank you, bird. All right. So I'm going to put some wood in here. Put 50 of my wood in there. There we go. I can finish up, especially during the day here. I just want to get this this log specifically. Where was I cutting? Oh, over there. Wow, that was really high up. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back and fix my stuff. I should probably make another torch too. Can the house burn? Did I not have a fire out here? It's looking like a cool house though. Just saying. Looks like a true Viking house. Okay. Alright. So... Where was I? Yes. Mostly a damage type? Okay. Good to know. Alright. Hmm. Create support beams for this. Oh no. This is bad. Huh. Huh. Okay. I like it though. I like that there is structural integrity. You know, it makes it more difficult on me, but I like it. I think I should have enough to build? Know what I could do is now from here. Okay. Need to be very careful. Okay. 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 So this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. From here. Okay. It's not working right now, but it's gonna work. Bam. It's alright, it's alright. Okay. It's then just oh no. Okay, okay. Am I smoked? Okay, no, I'm fine. Boom. Boom. Then we put a little one. Put a little one. Boom. Yes! It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Now, we go to the final stage of this. Final stage. Which is turning it downward so that we're fully protected. We don't have to worry about the rain. So what I'm going to do here is also... Uh, boom. Oh, I have a bunch of wood in the thing. I don't have to worry about it. Hey, and that's why we come prepared. I have to worry about getting a bunch of wood. Let's go. All right. And that goes like that. And right there. Now. Hopefully the structural integrity of this house 
Okay. Didn't work. There we go. This is a cool house. <laughs> I like my own house. I think that's at least the least my house could have, I guess. Here's the thing. I could move the ladder. <laughs> Simple solution. I am trying to do this the hardest way possible, but if you don't do it the hardest way possible, what are you gaining from it? Probably add a pillar to this. There we go. This is starting to look like a Skyrim house. <laughs> it's starting to look like Skyrim. So it will need room to escape. Not a problem. I can still build a wall here. from the outside. Ah! Aha! Yes! <laughs> this house is looking a little bit crazy from the outside. Um... This is fine. This is a fine house. Not a problem. the house seems to be pretty oh it's in pretty all right shape like it i thought when they were all attacking me last night or however many nights ago it was i thought i thought i was a goner like i thought the house was gonna collapse and i was gonna be sad i was preparing for that i was bracing for that but it turned out okay hey my thing works it holds the smoke there and then the smoke escapes uh, I'm gonna remove those. But here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Big brain move. So then it doesn't look as derpy anymore. Okay, I need, I need my ladder again. I am going to... House has been de derpified. Maybe. Maybe. You know what I could do here? Oh no, because I did a weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel like a sauna. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I think this is fine. I 
I think this is fine for right now. Oh. Probably eat something. If I extend the house afterwards. <laughs> if I ex. Uh oh. If I extend the house one more, then I can actually make it look more natural. Because I started a little bit too far forward. But if I extended one more, it could look okay. Alright, I think that's going to be it for me today then. So I might, in the future, I might extend it further one more. And... So that then the thing can just like slide off of there. We have a nice little top and we can just have a, something sliding off of there. This is pretty good, this is pretty good. I know that I went way over the time that I was expecting to stream, but this was really entertaining. I actually had a really good time, <laughs> so. Really can't complain. And it's cool too that every Every uh, instance of the game can be made into like a server for other people. So if it ever became a thing that I would have people coming here, I wouldn't need to restart from scratch. But we'll see about that when we... How am I liking the game? I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I built a house. Here, I'll run out and... It looks like a Skyrim house. Hello, traveler. How are you? Did... Did BB wake you up? And this is very much still just the beginning. Yes, I will expand this house. It will be massive. It will be the biggest house. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> Thank you for coming on with me on this interesting, very interesting adventure in this game. It's definitely caught my attention and it feels very different than any other survival-y type game I've ever played. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. I'll definitely be coming back to it. Maybe next time I stream, I'll split the stream again. Yeah, no, I'm really glad too. So, might be seeing more of this game in the future. Yeah, for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all on Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll be the next time I stream. Streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 p.m. EST. So feel free to come on back. And I will all be here. Thank you so much for coming by. Have a good night.